Hey everybody, this is Chibi Assassin from Furby. I'm making a video of my partial suit that I have up on Furby. <laughs> this is Berry Pop. She's a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. She is based off of the Wild Berry Pop Tart, if you could see with the blue and the purple. I just thought I would make a video just so you can get an idea of, um, what I'm offering here <laughs> and what her suit looks like obviously okie doke so we'll start with the head because that's the most important part <laughs> so she has follow me eyes if you can see they're blue and purple she has um, felt eyelashes and eyebrows if you want her to be male you can trim it if you want she's got a really squishy nose She's got teeth and a felt tongue. A little bit of hot glue I mentioned in the um, in the auction. Yeah, there is some. It's not that horrible, and you can't really notice it unless you're really up close. She's got a little white fur right here, and the blue is really, really, really pretty in the lighting. Like gorgeous. I just have really bad lighting. I'm sorry. I got like these bamboo shades. I have the lights on, it's still kind of dim. Really, really, like, oh my god, soft fur. She's got some white in her ears. Very, very soft. Okie doke. And it goes down to about here. She's got the white uh, cheeks. And then it looks all crazy because she was laying on her back or her back of her head. But there's, um,. Blue that goes all on her head. If you look at my reference photos, um, the artwork, you can see that the blue goes down to her back. It's kind of like how a cardigan or a Pembroke Corgi, some of them have like black on their back. I like they're mostly tan. I was going with that kind of color pattern. Um, if you buy, if you win the auction, you have rights to her character. Her name's Berry Pop, but you could change your name, you could change your gender, whatever you want. She's yours. <laughs> and she's really, really fun to play with. If you can make it a mohawk, I tend to keep with the bangs, because that's how I style my hair. Really cute. Huge snout. Really big ears. Really cute. <laughs> now this is the tail. It's the same blue. I have links to all the materials that my uh, first suitor made. Um, a fruit suit maker, whatever you want to call her. Her name is Lodi Da, L O D I D A H. She is a Long Island, New York local fursuit suit artist. I had it made in the summer. I never went to any cons because of financial issues. Um, so she never, she's barely been worn. Like, I've only worn her maybe a hair, like a, like, my finger amount of times, really not that much, maybe even less than that. Um, I've never worn her paw, her feet paws outside, we'll get to that. So it's got the uh, belt loop, really, really soft, you can play with it. It's around, uh, the tail's around uh, 8 to 12 inches, I believe. You know. She's fun to brush. You gotta brush her. Like in all fursuits, always brush their hair with a regular brush, preferably a pet brush. And these are her feet. And they are a woman's US size 8. And there's a little um, slit right here, so um, it's easier to put your feet in. And inside, there you can see there's foam, because it was, you know, that was how you build a shape. And then there's an actual shoe inside. It's just a slip-on shoe. It may be a little hard to get on the first time, but then after that, you get... It's easy. It's not so hard. But yeah, it's very soft. And this is a longer pile. This is, uh, I think they uh, cut it, or it was um, razored it, or they... Uh, or she just bought a shorter hair version of it. Now, um... This is my hand to the foot. It's, uh, <laughs> they're pretty big. They're, they're pretty damn big. Like, that's a pillow. Like a, like a square pillow, I know. Hi, Fennekin. And there's the foot. <laughs> pretty big. 
fun, cute, adorable, very toony. Now these are the arm sleeves. They're so pretty in the lighting when it's bright. As you can see, like that bright shine that um, the blue gives off. Really, really a pretty color. I have more photos on my auction. So here are the paws. The paws are detachable. They don't really attach. They're, you know, you slip them on in case you just want to wear just the paws. Totally cool with that. Arm sleeves, they have a, a, a strap. You're supposed to put that on. You know, you put your arms through. Um, and then you put the shirt over, so like a t-shirt or whatever is best. Very soft. People were like want to pet you all the time. Like everyone was like, oh, so soft. <laughs> These are the uh, squishy little uh, fleece blue paws, uh, paw pads. And then the other side. You get an idea. This is my hand. I'm small and short. Well, not small, but I'm short. <laughs> I'm 5'2". So. All the measurements are on the auction. Which I will post a link to. So. If you're just a YouTuber and you see this, she's up for auction till March 9th. So, yeah. Um, the minimum bid is up right now. Uh, I did pay a good amount of money for her, so... It's almost like a full suit, except you're just missing the body, really. The body and the pants. But, you know, I never, I barely wore her. I'm sorry, the lighting's bad. She's really, really awesome. But you'll see in photos. But yeah, uh, all rights to this character. Never been worn at a con. Good condition. Follow me eyes. Um, inside is a bava clava. That's hot glued. It's purple. I don't know if you can... Okay, you can't see. Ugh. It's dark in there. But yeah, there's a purple bava clava. So that you don't have to put your face against it. Pretty good uh, vision. I haven't really had a problem. You know, she has a big snout though. So you can't see where her snout is. But you could see... Pretty well. I, I didn't have that much of a problem. She fits a 22-23 diameter head without glasses. Like, if you wanted glasses, you'd have to have a smaller head than that to wear them with the suit. But yeah, foam-based. Um, she's pretty awesome, and I hope she goes to a really loving, awesome home and goes to awesome cons. So, uh, yeah, happy bidding, and thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it.